people say that the data is in the new oil but to create transfer and analyze the data we need chips and therefore if at all we have to give this kind of title to any sector then that should be semiconductors countries around the world want to be an important part of this supply chain in this episode we are going to talk about semiconductors the basics of semiconductor industry we will see how much revenue it earns we will see how different types of semiconductor chips are there and which country is expert in which kind of chips and we will also see how in general entire semiconductor industry is bifurcated in different parts so let's begin but don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell icon Global semiconductor sales in 2023 were slightly less than 530 billion dollars. In 2022 it was slightly above 570 billion dollars. That means there was a little slowdown last year. These statistics are released by Semiconductor Industry Association. All these numbers are estimates. Many other organizations come up with different estimates. For example, Gartner a consulting firm also released some data and those numbers are in the same range but in 2024 and 2025 the sector is going to register double digit growth that's what the projections say now there are two to three things that we should know about semiconductor manufacturing first is known as fabs or fabrication plants These are the actual facilities where chips are manufactured. Since owning a fab is a massive investment, you won't find many companies solely identified as fabs. Companies like Micron and SK Hynix are some example. Micron has started constructing factory in India in Gujarat state. Second is foundries. These companies specialize in operating fabs. and manufacturing chips designed by other firms they act as a service provider so the companies which are foundries are tsmc which is taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company the largest followed by samsung foundry and global foundries third is fabless semiconductor companies as the name suggests these companies focus solely on designing chips they don't own or operate any fab but instead partner with foundries so foundries and fabless semiconductor companies go hand in hand some well known fabless companies are qualcom nvidia amd and now fourth integrated device manufacturers these are the traditional players who handle the entire process from chip design and development to fabrication and testing they own and operate their own fabs they have the tight control over the entire supply chain it requires heavy capital investment some examples are intel samsung and texas instruments of all these companies intel is on the first rank if we classify it based on revenues the other top 4 are samsung qualcomm broadcom and nvidia remember recently nvidia's share price rose significantly and that was because the revenue and profits of the company rose significantly in the latest quarter and thanks to ai because of which we have seen rise in nvidia nvidia was already in top 10 and top 20 list but now it is in the top 5 list now there is another classification of the companies and that is based on type of chip so there are multiple types of chips but we are going to discuss only main few first are logic chips they have highest demand they are used everywhere for processing any digital data to control any electronic device commonly found in all electronic goods vehicles communication devices etc all the main companies like amd intel nvidia manufacture these chips a cpu or a gpu are the most common examples of logic chips second in line are memory chips so both logic and memory chips together account for more than half of all the semiconductor revenue the name 
memory chip conveys the message which is basically the chips that can store the data. Remember RAM and ROM that we used to talk in the case of computers? Those are memory chips. There are many other types of chips like analog, microprocessors, sensors, DSP, MCU, MPU. I don't even know the meanings. We are not discussing them right now. But there is one type whose demand has suddenly increased in 2023 and those are called automotive ICs. ICs means integrated circuits, which is basically a technical name of semiconductor. These automotive chips are used within auto industry. There are various functions within a vehicle where such types of specialized chips are used, especially with a rise in electric vehicles and driverless or autonomous cars the need for automotive chips have increased. Now in this chart, you can see that computers and communication are the major final finished goods where the demand for semiconductors is the highest. Together their share was more than 50% followed by automotive sector, consumer sector and industrial sector. So roughly there are three main processes in semiconductor industry. First is design. Second is fabrication and third is assembly and testing. Let's talk about design. Design is basically designing a microprocessor. US leads in designing and will probably continue to lead even in future. However, there is a fierce competition with China. Then comes fabrication, which you can see that it is led by China, Taiwan, Japan and South Korea. Lastly, assembling and testing which happens mostly in China. So now, our basics are somewhat clear. We got to know what exactly semiconductors are, where are they used, how are they manufactured and which are the companies manufacturing what type of chip and so on and so forth. So for now, I don't want you to be bombarded with so many things. So I have decided to talk about the remaining things in the next episode where we will understand in detail what kinds of policies the governments around the world are enacting and especially what's happening in India. Till then, keep watching, supporting, liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing this channel. Thank you.